says we are live. In fact, here. There we are. Yo, yo, what is up, discussions with dads? We are excited for tonight. We are going to make your life simple and not more complex. If you read the announcement post, uh, I would imagine you're tuning in for that very reason, and we're going to try to break it down in the most simplistic way possible. So before we get rocking here, uh, let us know if you can see us, hear us, just so we know if audio is good, visual good. Let us know where you're tuning in from, man. If you're brand new to the group, uh, say what's up in the comments. Drop us a comment. Say where you're from, uh, what you're looking to get out of the group, man. We're, uh, we're here to, to try to add as much free value as we possibly can. Uh, we got Chris K, my man, that just joined us not long ago, uh, already getting solid results, hasn't even really dialed everything in. What's going on, my man? Excited for you to be here. Um, yeah, we got Nebraska coming in. So, yeah, say what's up in the comments. Drop us a comment from where you're tuning in from so we know where you're at. Um, and just before we get rocking, so if you want to be an engaged member in this community, I would highly encourage you to go tap the friend request button on my profile I will normally be the one at least going live one of I'll be one of two or three of us usually. Uh, so tap that friend request button so you do not miss any of the notifications from Facebook. They're always going to show you that you can get connected with Zach and Anthony as well. Uh, with all that being said, uh, tonight is going to be fun. Uh, the reality is this. Uh, we see a lot of guys in this group that are currently struggling and trying to really figure it out. Uh, the, the questions that I posted in the announcement post like, where do I start? What kind of diet do I follow? What kind of workouts do I do? You know, what, where do I even start? All right. And each one of us has been in that, in those shoes. Uh, the reality is, is we all were overwhelmed at one point, went through our own health journey. And so uh, it, it took us a while to get where we're at. It, and, and we're just going to be transparent and honest with you guys. Uh, this is not a, it's not an easy thing. Notice I said simple and not easy. And so hopefully tonight we can unpack some of the things that we would recommend focusing on and some of the things, some of the core foundation of what we do and the things that we focus on to keep us where we're at right now. Um, you know, all four of our, all three of us focus on the four pillars that we're going to talk about tonight, uh, along with a few other things, um, you know, with, with habit building and, uh, you know, some, some per personal development stuff that, that will also help you. And so we're going to add that value to you tonight, but that is the intro. Just so you guys know the flow of this, if you're brand new to the group, we're going we're gonna to go for 30, 40 minutes here and uh, add as much value as we can. If you have questions during the live stream, man, just drop them in the comments. We will circle back around and try to get to any questions that you guys have. So <clears throat> something pops up, anything men's health related, uh, drop them in there and we are here to serve you guys tonight. At the end, if you want to stick around a little bit and find out what it would be like to work with us, we will talk about that at the end. I'll give you a little commercial break. Just kind of let you know, hey, this is where we're going to talk more about uh, what it would look like to partner with us versus the value of the live stream. So with all that being said, Zach and Anthony, what's going on? I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> what's up, man? This is our, for this one, man. Yo, yeah. what's up? I love, I love Wednesdays, man. I like Favorite doing this. night of the week. Yeah, Dude, I like fun, doing man. Like, Yeah, if you guys, you guys uh, that, that show up every week, if you're getting value out of it, you know, look, we're, 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 we get value out of it too. And here's what we tell every single prospect that comes in uh, that we either get on the phone with or even that comes on board as a client is that, you know, the, the, the thing is, is we're not motivated half the time that, we, that it's time to work out. We're not motivated half the time that it's time to eat the next healthy meal or the next salad or whatever that looks like. We would all love the burger over the salad. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But there's a time and a place for that. And, and one thing that we, we often emphasize is, you know, we, you know, it, this is health content. And for those of you guys that are showing up every week, you're posting stuff in the group, you're here to learn, you're here to gain knowledge from our years of experience, as well as our edu education, you know, it, the, the health content's got to stay at the forefront of your mind. And it's easy for us in terms of keeping it at the forefront of our mind, because that's what we do. But I would say, and you guys correct me if you're wrong, if, if I'm wrong, but like my, and well, in my opinion, the two most fun nights of our week uh, are going to be the, the Wednesday night and the podcast. And when I just say fun, focus is more for, for our client calls, right? When we do our group calls, I'm focused and I'm trying to, trying to help these guys as much as possible. But 
fun, get to let loose a little bit is Wednesday night. And then when we record our podcast on Sundays, you guys agree with that? Yep. Hell yeah. 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 So <laughs> cool. For sure. All right. Let's, let's kick this off by just kind of giving you guys an overview of what to expect tonight. For those of you who have been in the group for a little while, um, or if you're brand new, uh, if you're brand new and you got here and you've already seen our mini course, for those of you guys that are in the group, we're going to get you guys the mini course very soon. We just launched it. If you go click on one of our ads, you can get your hands on that now. Uh, however, we have not released it to the group yet. You guys are going to get that soon. But if you're here and you, got, you, you already got the mini course and you landed here, uh, you already know what we're about, right? If you've gone through the mini course, I know a couple of you guys have already reached out to me after seeing the, the mini course and like, that's what I need, dude. That's it. And so there you go. Uh, we're excited. You know, that's, that's what we do, man. And so we, we have a four pillar system. Um, the, there's a lot of you guys in here that, that talk often about diet and exercise. You know, I, I saw a post today, like trying to gain lean muscle mass. What do I need to do in terms of nutrition? Uh, trying to, you know, trying to lose weight. Um, I, I've been trying keto. I've tried this. I'm working out all the time. <laughs> We don't hear a whole lot about two things that the first two pillars that we feel are, are just as equally as important as those, those other two, the diet and the exercise part. And so those are sleep and stress management. I think uh, Zach and I had a conversation the other day about sleep being like the, the, the best weight loss pill that nobody talks about. Right. And, and that's it. Like if you're not, you're not prioritizing sleep, you're not going to get anywhere uh, with your goals, or I shouldn't say anywhere, but it's going to be very challenging. It's going to be an uphill battle for you to really make progress. So uh, we're going to dive into a little bit of sleep right now and give you guys some some strategies. All right. And so we'll kind of open it up. I'm just going to open it up for Anthony and Zach and kind of let's go through, you know, a, a day in our life. And and really, you can you can relate it to what we teach uh, in our private community as well. But like, what what are you guys doing on a day to day basis to make sure that that sleep remains a focal point in your life. Oh man, <laughs> we understand how how important sleep is, and for me, uh, anxiety reduction, man, in any way, shape, and form possible. Like I have a list of five tasks that I have to do every single day that's going to project me forward in in business and personal life, whatever it may be. And I, when I don't have those tasks done, it bugs me, man. Yeah. It bugs me. So when I say like, I, I need to do it, I need to do something productive. So there, there's so many ways and so many things that I do to try to get my sleep good. But my first and foremost, if I didn't have a, at least a relatively productive day, dude, I try to sleep and I'm just like, it is, I keep thinking about it and it messes in my head. You know, like it rolls in your head. Yeah. You guys have no those doubt. days. Yeah. hundred yeah, percent. Sure. Yeah. I had that last night. I watched the Michigan Wolverines lose in the Elite Eight. <laughs> I'm sitting there on my laptop, the baby's sleeping, my son's sleeping, watching that basketball game. And I'm a like I'm a soft Michigan fan, not like a diehard. I was born in Ann Arbor. Uh, so they lost. And so I'm fired up for the game. And then I'm like, well, shit. Then this business starts running through my mind. I'm like, dude, like I gotta get to sleep, you know. And and so I knew I was gonna pay for it a little bit on the on the back end today. Um, and I did, you know, I, I don't feel like my workout wasn't as good. My productivity was not usually what it is. Um, and, and it was an eye opener for me. And that's what it, it keeps me grounded. Those little, those little uh, uh, reminders come up. And so what would you say, like, if you were going to give somebody any type of tip to dial in sleep, like Zach, what would you say is, is priority number one? Priority number one. Well, it depends on what time of the day it is, to be completely honest. Like what if, if let's talk strategy, let's talk strategy. Like say, say your sleep sucks. Say mm -hmm. it's all over the place. Random. You're, you're going a bit here, there, and all that. Like, what would you say is the, the first step that you would take to start getting that, that part dialed in? Let me just Dude, man, well, I, for, for, I mean, first we have an, we understand that we need to have seven, eight hours of sleep. Right. So I'd figure out what time I need to wake up and then just obviously subtract seven or eight. And that's literally, that's like the easiest way. Just, just put a number yeah. to that and and set your phone down an hour before that that's literally like the easiest way you can start and i know a lot of people yeah. will be on their phone until it's like oh, okay i'm falling asleep and then they put it down literally the easiest way to start is for, for what I, what i did is i understood what time i needed to be up so i could start my day so yeah. i just subtracted seven eight hours and that's the time that i got off my phone that's literally well, one hour before that sorry 
and I love it. It sounds simple. Way. It sounds elementary. It sounds, dude, but like, yeah, it is. Some of the most elementary things are some of the most powerful tools that we can use for us or mm -hmm. use against us when it comes to health. That's it. That's it's, so, no, it's it. very simple. There's nothing sexy about it. It's just a simple yeah. answer, man. Yeah, no, Anthony, what's your take, man? I know you probably echo our sentiments, but like, is there anything that you could do that, that you would tell these guys like, hey, you want to get your sleep dialed in? This is step number one. Yep. I live and die by a calendar, right? Everything goes into my calendar from appointments to when I work out to when I post on social media to when I have wife time, kid time, when we do dinner, like, and it, it, it's going to vary from five, 10, 15 minutes at a time. But if it's in there, I can stick to it, right? That's basically my boss. Same thing goes for my sleep. So I have my sleep schedule dialed in 1045. You can't see it. I'm trying to show it on the camera. You guys can't see it. Yep, Maybe you can I see it. it there. 1045. Yep to 515, six and a half hours. That's what I need. I am consistent on point. It changes a little bit on the weekends, not too much. I'm not going to bed at midnight or one o'clock on Saturdays. I'm still getting up roughly by about six o'clock in the morning because I still have stuff I need to do on the weekends. The weekends is when I get ahead, right? That's when I'm actually dialing in even more uh, to, to plan for my week. So I would tell you that, uh, you know, putting it in the calendar and sticking to it, whether that's on your phone or if you write it down in a, I don't care if you got one of those giant desk calendars, write it down just yep. like everything else, right? A planner, a calendar. Uh, that's what I live and die by. And that's, what's going to hold you accountable at the end of the day. And uh, I think, and, and, and I'm going to take it back a little bit uh, from what Zach said right at the beginning with, you know, um, I sometimes feel like I need to veg out and watch TV at the end of my night versus when I, as a reward for myself for getting all my tests done. So sure. on the flip side, like I, I want to watch TV, but I know that then I'm not going to get quality sleep, that blue light, some of that additional yep. stuff. Right. So if I'm going to do that, that's maybe at eight or nine o'clock or from nine to 10 with, with my wife and then, uh, you know, read and get settled down and then go to sleep from there. Right. So uh, it's kind of the opposite for me sometimes when I feel like, that should be my reward, right? So again, living by the calendar and, and scheduling it, I think is, is huge. I love it. And you you triggered a thought in my mind because I saw a comment come in and I don't know, I don't have any context here. Uh, David Adam writes in, I sleep one hour, wake, then go back to sleep for one. Usually after four hours of that, then I sleep about three hours. Here's the thing. And I, here's what we, we want you guys all to know is like tonight we're talking about the four pillars that we, that we pound the table for, okay? The reality is this, is that what we do and what we teach is very much systemized. And you guys out there that are talking about and singling out your sleep, you've got to realize that these four pillars must align with the guy that you want to become. If you want to become the healthiest version of yourself, it's not just a pillar. All right. And so when I see David, uh, again, talk about, you know, the broken sleep, David, what you've got to realize, my man, is this, is that these four pillars all feed each other. If one is off, then your whole cycle is going to be off. Okay. And so again, I don't have context, but I'm going to use that as an example. So David, you might not be managing your stress. You might have a lot of stress. Um, I cannot tell you how many guys we talk to that come into our private program and say, dude, stress is not a problem for me. No big deal. Like it's not something that I don't, I, I feel like I need to focus on right now. Two weeks in the program, they go through the stress management curriculum, go through the stress <laughs> optimization model, start implementing some of those things and realize, holy shit, like I had a lot more stress than I thought I did. And that's the thing is that as men, we're conditioned at a young age that it's, it's normal to carry around boatloads of stress and we're just supposed to deal with it, right? We, we don't channel, channeling that stress, channeling that energy, channeling, having an outlet somewhere is, is so crucial, which then comes in with some of our stress management uh, strategies and techniques that we teach and systemizing this process. Another piece that I, will, that I will add or another layer that I'll add to that is with nutrition and fitness. If your diet sucks, man, and you're not eating nutrient dense foods on a, on a regular basis, on a most of the time basis, there's a lot of that process crap that's going to it's going to mess with gut health. It's going to cause GERD. It's going to cause, if you don't know what GERD, reflux. It's going to cause, um, you know, sleep disturbances. There's so many chemicals and, and junk that, that's in processed food that it can also cause sleep issues. And then there's the fitness aspect. That's one of our releases. That's an outlet that you could potentially use. Again, all four need to be aligned 
for you to achieve optimal health, optimize all four of those, the sky's the limit for you. So I don't want to, I don't want to get focused in on one pillar and get so granular on that, that you lose sight of the big picture here, because the four pillars have to be aligned with the guy that you want to become. It's about putting in the micro discipline now, making all four of these things a priority so that you can achieve the macro discipline, which is the guy you want to become. Maybe that's one of the pictures that I posted in the announcement post with one of our physiques, or maybe that's an Instagram uh, model that you, that you're, you know, that you have goals to become, or maybe that's the rock. I don't know what that is for you, but dude, like whatever that macro discipline is like the micro has to be there and those four have to align. So just wanted to add that let's move on and cover a little bit of stress management. We talked about it a little bit. Um, what Zach, we'll, we'll start with you, man. Like, what would you say are the main, the main factors in your life that are uh, on a, done on a regular basis that serve you well in terms of stress reduction, because we're all different. What we teach is a model, uh, your morning routine, Anthony's morning routine, this guy's getting up at 3 AM or some shit. That's not me, <laughs> but our morning routines are all different, but they're all also very similar. And that's why it's a model. So give us your take on that, my man. That's right, man. It, it, it's something I say all the time, man. And it's just practicing gratuity, man. Just, just accepting, accepting, like, like understanding that dude, there are some people on earth that are stressing about feeding their kids, right? Yes. There's some people stressing because they're in, you know, stage four cancer. There's other people stressing because they broke a bone and they don't have insurance. Like there's always someone somewhere else that has it worse than you. So I like to stay gratuitous and I like to just keep things in perspective. If I'm stressing about something I need to get done so that I can make some extra money. It's like, it's like, why, why I'm not going to whine and complain about that. It just, I take a, take a breath, take a step back. And I'm just like, I'm thankful for the opportunity to be in this situation. Yes. Or this is what I'm complaining about. You know what I mean? And it makes me feel like an idiot. And I'm like, dude, this is not something to complain about. So right. I, I like to keep things in perspective by practicing gratuity. That's, that's my, that's my go-to helps me a lot. Dude, a lot. I love it. And it's, it's a daily practice for me and has been for a really long time. And I'll be real honest with you. I know Anthony wants, he's chomping to chime in here because this is his thing too. <laughs> he's but ready. Like, I will tell you guys this, and this is just full transparency on my behalf. Um, I've talked about this on the podcast and, and on prior live streams. Oh, for those who got tuning in. So what I, this is a little sidebar. I get this a lot that guys in this group, for some reason, feel like this is the podcast. We have a podcast that is on yeah. iTunes, Spotify, like all your normal podcast listening channels or platforms. And these are our live streams. This is not our podcast. They are two different things. So if you want to stay plugged in and get more of our type of content, then our podcast, the Dad Bod Pod, uh, for anybody that wants that, drop pod, drop the word podcast in the comments now. I'll send you a link to the most recent episode. But they are two different things. All right. So, so I wanted to. I, it, it's been bugging me, so I wanted to throw it out there. But with <laughs> that being did. said, this is the transparent part, and I've talked about it a lot lately. I have a seven-month-old. He's almost eight months old. Okay, the kid's not sleeping. Two nights ago, he only woke up three times. Last night, he woke up like eight times, right? We don't have much consistency. So my morning routine, the thing that I thrive off of, is not happening in my life right now the way that I would like it to, All right? That usually consists of some meditation in the morning, gratitude journal, uh, 10 pages of personal development and reading, um, blocking out time from social media. I have a very strict morning routine that I love to follow. And that is where my mind, my growth mindset is at its highest functioning capacity. Right now, the only thing that I've been able to hold on to and really prioritize is my gratitude journal. I had to pick one thing that was going to be the least time consuming that I could still figure, fit in in the mornings with my kids and getting all that ready, ready and then running on fumes from, from sleep. Gratitude journal is it, dude. Like that thing serves me more than just about anything else. And most guys, they, they think it, they, they hear that and they're like, eh, whatever. Like, it's, it's not a big deal. You guys got to realize that a gratitude journal is not just to serve you for today. It's a long-term play. It's a subconscious mind play. If you don't believe in the power of the subconscious mind, this, this group's probably not for you because all three of us have experienced yeah. massive amounts of growth by making our subconscious mind work for us instead of against us. So, Anthony, your take, my man. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I'll run through my uh, my morning routine real quick because that's it's a big piece of 
of this. So water right away because we're dehydrated, right? We probably we were feeling a little groggy, dehydrated, feeling uh, a little uh, a little uh, low on energy, right? So you, so you get get hydrated, get 12 ounces of water right away, then workout, water workout. So I am immediately gonna sweat, right? And that gets the endorphins rolling, that gets the adrenaline rolling, that gets my mind unfogged, unclogged, whatever you want to call it, right? And then it's gratitude because now I'm in the right state of mind and I'm happy, right? And when my kids wake up and my wife gets home from the gym, I'm not a jerk, I'm not cranky, right? And then the last thing is uh, a uh, positive, positivity, getting uh, some reading, like you said, getting podcasts, reading watching a, a, a motivational video, something like that. So that's the initial part. And then uh, there's a lot more to it than that, but it's that morning routine. Starting your day off on the right foot is huge. And that sets the trend for the rest of the day. Love it. it. No, I love it, dude. And look, uh, that is basically like what Anthony went through right there uh, very much fits into the model that we teach inside of our private program. The reality is this, guys, when we got, when we got guys coming in, that have never heard of any of this stuff, right? They're like, maybe have heard of it. You guys have all heard of gratitude journal and meditation and some of the other things we talked about, but they don't realize the power of it. Maybe they've never tried it or maybe they have, but they didn't do it with consistency. So when you come in and we start talking about this stuff on a regular basis, it's like, okay, well, maybe I need to try that out. When you hear of top tier, like star athletes doing some of these things that we're talking about, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I made up any of this, right? These are bits and pieces that I've taken over time from people I look up to. When you got like a Pro Bowl tight end, Tony Gonzalez, talking about life-changing meditation and that he would refuses to ever give that aspect up in his life, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should try that. Not only is he a badass football player, but he's also a very intelligent human being and someone that has carried himself very, very well throughout his career. And so- Take notes when you see these successful people out there talking about things that could potentially change your life. Don't just brush it off, man. We are, we are speaking from the heart. These are things that serve us on a day-to-day basis, all right? And so going back to the post that I made about simplifying your life, making it simple, you guys get so fixated. A lot of you guys, not, I'm, I'm not, this is not accusatory, but a lot of you guys get so fixated on what do I need to eat and how do I need to work out? If you would take a step back, right, and and you guys, can, Zach and Anthony both agree, like if you guys would take a step back and prioritize those first two pillars, really get those dialed in, stick to a strict sleep schedule, pick a time that's going to give you enough time to sleep at least seven hours, seven to eight hours a night, like get that dialed in, get a morning routine started of some, t- some sort, right, find some bits and pieces that will plug and play into your life that are going to serve you at a higher level. You focus on those two things and nothing else and try to make smart choices, get your workouts in. I'm not saying you ignore that stuff. It's magical. I'm I'm telling you right now, the magic happens when those four are aligned. And a lot of the guys in this group get so fixated on like keto this and whole 30. Oh, try intermittent fasting here. Get your window figured out. Do this. Go do some cardio. Maybe you should lift first. Had a guy arguing with me today about doing high repetitions for, you know, 60 reps or some crazy stuff. I'm like, dude, it's science. I'm not going to argue about it. No, I like, yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys saw that post. I just dropped it. So, and and cool. Like if he's listening, look, I respect your opinion. I was saying, I stated science, man. Like if you don't like data, cool. Anyway, with all that being said, we'll move on to nutrition. Now talk a little bit about that. We've done, we've uh, dove deep many a times on this live stream about nutrition. If you want to go deep on nutrition, uh, Zach, Anthony, and myself all have done like dual and all triple uh, nutrition uh, live streams. All right. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on nutrition right now because we do want to, we do want to give you guys some more time. Ask questions now if you have them. All right. But when I talk about making your life simple, four things, man, you guys focus on those four things and the sky's going to become the limit for you, man. Like so many guys come into our program. I'll tell you right now, there's some in the live stream right now. Jose was on here. Chris K. Uh, Chris is fairly new. Probably hasn't implemented everything in the curriculum yet. Like he's a, he's a student, dude. Like he's, Chris is going to crush. Um, but, you know, we, we got guys coming into the, into the program who come in and they're like, dude, they get through the curriculum and start implementing the stress management stuff and the sleep stuff. Like we'll, we'll use Rick, for example. Like this guy pounds the table for the four pillars He's also lost 70 pounds in five months, right? Like 
that's nothing to sneeze about. The magic happens when you've got them all aligned with the guy that you want to become. So let's talk nutrition. Uh, I'll start with you, Zach. Like if, if you're trying to give somebody, you know, two minutes of your best advice, we're not going to get into diets and intermittent fasting and all that, but like to, to simplify the process as much as possible without convoluting it, because you know, and we've talked about this on a podcast as well. The world of nutrition is vast. It can be very overwhelming. If you yeah. and I and, and Anthony weren't educated in that department, we would also go into the grocery store and be confused on a lot of the false advertising, the false marketing. I'll use Cliff Bar, for example, that, you know, has like guys hiking up a cliff on the, on the side of the thing, looks all healthy. And you look at it, it's got like 15 <laughs> grams of sugar, 40 grams of carbs. I'm like, yeah, maybe if I was hiking five miles up a mountain, so that'd good, be a though. great snack for now. So <laughs> they taste good, but they're definitely they taste good. But so take two minutes, man. And, and like, what would you say is the, the most simplest way that you, you could teach, not teach, but like, what advice would you give somebody about nutrition? If somebody asked me, like, if we were in an elevator, right? Like, there you like, go. What's your if elevator? If we were in an elevator, elevator, we had like 20 seconds, man. The yeah. easiest thing to do that I would say is up your vegetables, up your lean protein, and try to have as many foods, 80 to 90% of what you eat in a day, be single ingredient foods, whole Love food that. sources. Done. There you go. Done. Love that. Real whole foods, dude. That's it. Done. Nutrient dense, real whole foods. And that's yep. it. I'm not talking about the grocery store whole foods. I yeah. love when I try to somebody like, <laughs> I will, I will put that in a Facebook post or even a message, sometimes even text. And I'll be like, dude, just like you need more real whole foods. And every time it autocorrects to capitalizing both, thinking that I'm talking about the grocery store. <clears throat> Anyway, no, I love that advice. Didn't Whole Foods get sued for like trying to sell $5 pre-peeled oranges or something like that? Yeah. (laughs) Love (laughs) it. Man, what the hell? (laughs) So, Anthony, I know you're not like a nutrition obsessed like Zach and I, but what what is your 20-second elevator pitch? to? Because like that's not – you don't strike me as somebody that's passionate about nutrition. And so um, there's a lot of other aspects – where you can add value, but you eat very healthy. So like, what is your advice to somebody out there that might be overwhelmed by the world of nutrition? So I grew up on the farm, right? So I grew up and uh, we were meat and potatoes and and all the things that you eat till your plate was like, you fill up your plate and eat till it was gone. Right. So that was a hard thing for me to overcome. But ultimately a lot of the same things Zach said, right. Eat slower right? So don't, I used to shovel, right? And just yep. eat as fast as possibly can so we can rush back for seconds. Uh, so slow down, stick to uh, the fist. Uh, what, what's the thing, Zach? Tell, give me the, what is the, the portion size? What is it? Oh, the, for, palm, uh, yeah. fist. the palm, the palm, fist, fist. palm, fist, fist for your, for your portion sizes. Um, and then I eat pretty much the same stuff all the time, except for the weekends. That's when I treat yep. myself, right? So Stick to what works, figure out what works for you because certain things, everybody's a little bit different, right? So stick to the things that you find work for you. I love eggs, right? So I eat a lot of eggs, a lot of lean protein. I like fish. I like lean meat. I like bison, right? But um, find what works for you, stick to it, and then indulge a little bit more on the weekends for your treat meals. Grab the burgers and the beers like we teach in our program, right? Uh, And that's, that's it. It's consistency, right? You can still have great tasting food that's still healthy for you. And that's where people 100%. really get it messed up. Like it has to be sugar, has to yep. be processed, has to be the chips. There's some great tasting food that uh, great flavor that you can really uh, get, get good with. And uh, you know, that's, that's it for me. Right. No, I love it. I love it. If you guys are getting value out of this, drop value in the comments now. So anybody coming in tomorrow, we'll, we'll see that on the timestamp. Um, what I want to add to that, I love that you went there with the nutrition because uh, Zach and I are, are the exact same way. Dude. We eat a lot of the same stuff. Um, one of the concepts we teach in the program is, is our go-to meals. Um, you just listed off several of the things that you eat on a week-to-week basis. We're doing the same stuff. Uh, this go-to meal concept is so crucial if you want to eliminate a lot of the moving parts. Identify three or four meals in your life that you don't mind repeating because A, they taste good and B, they're nutrient dense and they fuel your body for performance. They make you feel good during your workouts. They make you feel good during the day. You've got focus, you've got energy, you've got stamina. Those are the foods that you want to be eating a lot. Now with all of that, the, the thing is, is, and when you mentioned about kind of the, the taste the, or the, the sugar and those things, it's because 
these guys that, that thrive off this junk food, their taste buds have acclimated to those tastes. Okay. So right. when you go from right. Right. McDonald's or Burger King or some shit food over to a healthy nutrient dense meal, like the taste is going to be night and day difference. But I'm going to tell you right now, like some of my most favorite meals are some of my healthiest meals. You know, like last night uh, or, or Monday night, we did sockeye salmon, sweet potato and asparagus. Would I choose that over burger and beer? Hell no. But on a Monday, when I know that Tuesday I'm going to the gym and I'm going to crush my workout, I'm doing back, which is one of my least favorite days, that I need real fuel. A burger and a beer and fries and ice cream ain't cutting it for, for Tuesday at the gym. So it's this, it's this, I can't have it now, but I can have it later mentality with those foods, knowing that you are going to treat yourself because you got that to look forward to. But dude, when you make that mindset shift, when it comes to nutrition, you start fueling your body for performance. You start loving the way that you feel when you wake up every day because of the nutrition that you, we are what we eat. If you guys don't subscribe to that saying, dude, it's going to be very difficult for you to get anywhere with your health. And that's just it. Like you've got to eat nutrient dense foods to perform powerfully and consistently on a daily basis or get anywhere close to that. That is a huge concept. But again, make sure those all four of those are aligned. Don't let nutrition cloud your mind and overwhelm you. Okay. Like it's, it doesn't need to be that uh, convoluted. It's just so many people love to make it convoluted because there's literally millions of choices when it comes to food. You got, you're either a gym guy or a home workout guy. You're either going to go to bed or you're not. You're either going to manage your stress or not. When it comes to nutrition, you got decision after decision after decision. Yeah. If you're a three to four meal a day guy, I'm a four meal a day guy. Dude, that's 28 meals a week that I could either make a little progress or take some steps back. When you take a, take a snapshot like that, you mess up two or three times, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. And I would much rather live the fit life instead of the fat life and always be overwhelmed about what's next because I got to have a burger or candy or something disgusting. Yeah. So um, real quick too, something yeah. I really want to chime in on that yep. you said that I want to make sure these guys get is a lot of y'all don't realize how good you feel once you start eating well Dude, consistently, right? If you me. haven't ever done it for more than a week or had like, consistent consistent healthy meals you don't realize like how much better you feel like you think it's normal to feel crappy you start feeling tremendously better digestion things are moving more energy better like sleep all that stuff again we talked about it all these gears turn and turn each other as well right so i really want you guys to understand you feel great once you start eating that stuff and then you crave it, right? Your body 100%. craves that stuff as well. So just wanted to jump on that real quick because I want to make sure they, that point got driven home. I'll add another layer to that because, you know, every, every guy on this live stream right now uh, has testosterone. Many of us, myself included, I haven't had my levels checked in a while, but I'll be 42 this year. I probably have low T. Here's the thing though. Those four pillars practice on a consistent basis are going to drastically improve your testosterone levels naturally. So for those of you guys who are out there looking for low T replacement or what supplements can I take to feel better? We get that question in this group a lot. What supplements would you guys recommend to get me to where I want to be? Dude, like supplements are just that. They're a supplement to the things you're already doing. They're not a replacement. It's a supplement, right? We don't teach a lot of supplements inside of our program. It, we just don't. Because the reality is, is when you align those four things and you're prioritizing nutrition, going back to Anthony's point, fueling your body for performance and for energy and the way that you feel, dude, you don't need a bunch of supplements, man. Like, are there supplements that can be beneficial in some situations? Absolutely. I'm, I would never tell you there's not. But like the, the supplements I use in my own life are so minimal. Like you guys would be like, oh, well, I don't need to take that. I mean, that's, that's really like, I'm not taking a bunch of you know, testosterone boosters or work pre-workout and all this stuff. Like when's the last time that you felt like you, and I'll ask both of you guys, when's the last time that you went to the gym and you felt you needed a pre-workout before you went? Like, I can't even remember. I never now, rely recently on vomited. So, I mean, like yeah. <laughs> for you, <laughs> even though I work out at 5am now, damn it. Uh, <laughs> like yeah, I, I haven't I, felt the, the true need to have something like that. Like I can't even remember the last dude. time. I have, okay, I have 
I'll tell you right now, I have four different pre-workouts in my cabinet and they're all full. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I've had those things for so damn long. They're probably clumped up now. You know, when they turn all hard. There you go. I, I, I hardly ever, ever, ever take it. That's why it comes down to fueling your body for yeah. performance. Hey, let me add to, uh, to, to, to Anthony's point. I'm actually glad he brought that up. That's, that's, that's a good point about hormonal balance because when you're actually overweight, people are like, oh, I have low energy. I have low libido. I have low testosterone. When you're actually overweight, your body produces more estrogen. Yep. Literally. So if you want to have more natural testosterone, literally lose weight. That's yeah. literally. Yep. Literally, ahead, Andy, everybody's want, so quick to, to get on hormone therapy, hormone therapy, or the or no, the skin, I think it's like going to be the, the the magic pill, right? Yeah, like, I just need to replace my testosterone, uh, bro. You need to address the root cause, which right. is the elephant right. in the room. You got to get healthy. Yeah, you know, testosterone replacement is great if you actually if you need it. Address the root cause. Yes, and if but you if actually you, need it, you're 280 pounds and you're you got low T, and that's the only thing you're going to do. You're still going to feel like shit. It's yep. not going to change. Anthony, what you got? Yeah, no, I was just going to say on the, the whole tea therapy thing, right? So I have low tea, and, and I shouldn't say, the last time I got tested was right before I did my show. So I was very, very lean, um, and, and that maybe had a little bit to do with it. But my point is, just because levels say that you need testosterone therapy or, or somebody tells you, an expert says that you have low tea, if you don't feel like you need it, like I've never done testosterone therapy. I've never used any of that stuff because – I don't feel like I need it. Right. Uh, it, it goes right. back to feel and, and you knowing, like, don't do something just because you, you, somebody else tells you, you need to do it. Right. If I, at some point, if I'm starting to slug, be sluggish and, and the, everything else isn't working, if I'm, uh, I'm not following our routine and, and it's, and I still need it, then maybe I'll look at it. Right. But just because you get tested and your numbers are low for your age, don't yep. don't take that as the end all be all. I guess is what I would tell you guys. So, I love that you I do went have there OT because... and I have never done testosterone therapy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I love that you went there because here's the thing. I I know basically without a shadow of doubt that I have low T. I haven't had I haven't checked in a really long time. You know why I haven't had a check? Because I don't need it. Because I right. prioritize the four pillars. That's it. Like exactly. if I felt like exactly. I needed it, then look, I have a sex drive. You know, like. I have a seven month old too. So it doesn't happen as much as I'd love for it to, but I have a good sex drive. My libido is not lacking. Okay. You might not have low testosterone then. (laughs) I think you might be all right. (laughs) But I'm telling you, man, like I I would imagine that it's clinically low and I I don't need it. Like I I wouldn't go sign up for that unless I was having issues. Right. And so I I think the, the root cause stuff is, is the priority here. Um, before we, we're, we're starting to run short on time and I don't want to, I, I want to yeah. be able to, to catch some questions. I know that, um, uh, let me, let's, let's briefly cover the fourth pillar. The fourth pillar is fitness for you guys are coming in late. It's sleep, stress management, nutrition, and fitness. I'm not, we're not going to go deep into fitness. Cause we did that last week. If you want to check out our methodology around fitness, go check out last week's live stream, go into the guide section at the top of the group go into unit number two. And I believe it should be the top, uh, the top live stream. It's our fitness. Ask us anything about our fitness me- methodology or something like that. The four pillar is fitness. So uh, John Rockwood says, could you give some examples of nutrient dense foods? Oh, I, was, uh, I also- literally just press enter on his to respond. <laughs> oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. So John, just so you know, man, nutrient dense foods are literally what you're going to find on the perimeter of the grocery store. We're talking about real whole foods. Um, I'm very big on, on healthy fats. So, uh, to Anthony, Anthony mentioned eggs, eggs, salmon, steelhead trout, olive oil, uh, avocados, nuts, nut butters, uh, seeds, like those are all healthy fats. But then in terms of nutrient dense foods, complex carbohydrates, dude, like quinoa, sweet potatoes, black rice, uh, you know, wild rice, like anything that is complex and nutrient dense that takes a longer time for your body to digest because there are more nutrients. We're talking about avoiding things like white rice, white bread, white tortillas, unless it's the weekend meal and that's what you want. Right. And so uh, those are nutrient dense foods, dude, like things that aren't processed that are found on the perimeter of the grocery store. For the most part, Um, I recommend buying organic meat. If you can afford to buy organic meat, uh, especially with kids. You don't want to be feeding your kids a bunch of hormone-filled meats. 
if your chicken breast is the size of an NFL football, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not healthy for you, uh, especially long-term. And so hopefully that clarifies it for you, man. It's, it's just really anything that's not packaged um, with the exception of like quinoa, black rice, some of the things I mentioned there. So um, any other questions you see there, Zach? No, nah, man, you actually in the, the stuff you list or you said is actually what I listed in the answer, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. Besides, besides what the four pillars are. No, that's that's pretty much it in terms of questions. Yeah. You guys getting value tonight. Hopefully you're getting value. If you're getting value, drop that in the comments again, man. Like, I feel like we, we crushed it tonight. I feel like we covered a lot of great stuff. Um, if you have questions, drop them in there and we'll, we'll get to them. If we don't get to them tonight, we'll circle back around and, and answer anything you guys got. Um, this is your commercial break. We're going to give you a, a minute or two. We'll see if any that anybody else chimes in with questions. And then, uh, and then we'll talk about what it would look like to partner with us. Uh, and for the next six to 12 months and potentially change your life with the rest of unleash your legacy. Uh, any, any other questions that you see in there, Zach, that are popping up? Nope. Cool. Cool. You guys Not got yet. anything to add before we uh, transition into the close? I mean, I guess we did talk a little bit about the subconscious mind. I guess I could bring something up called the reticular activating system, the RAS in the mind. Throw it. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been in a crowd of people before. It's been very, very loud, a lot of noise everywhere. But then you hear somebody call your name in the distance and your brain will just like your, your ears will just hear it through all the noise. That's called the reticular activating system. It focuses subconsciously on the things that you find important to you. So yep. if you it's kind of like, OK, another example. So if you bought a black Honda, black Honda Civic or whatever, right before you're like, oh, that car is cool. I like it. I'm going to buy it. You buy the car. All of a sudden you're like, hey, everybody has Everywhere. a damn black Honda everybody Civic. What the hell? Black. Yep. Right. That's your reticular activating system trying to hone in on those things because now it's important to you because you actually possess one. Yep. So going back to the whole subconscious mind, whatever it is that you focus on, guess what? Your mind's looking for that. So if yep. you're looking for a negative energy, guess what it's going to find? It's going to find all the negative, there, positive, and you know, it works the other way. So that's why it's so important for us to focus on the positive stuff. Be, you know, be gratuitous because we can have a day that's 99% awesome. But if our RAS is, is just, it's aligned to focus on that 1% bad, we're going to think we had a shitty ass day. Yep. You're going to think, right? oh man, yep. today sucked ass. It was the worst. Da, da, da. But like, what, what, what? Yep. So it, be very conscious of what you focus your mind and energy on because it's, it's real shit. It's it, is, crucial, it is very dude. real. Like, again, you can either use it for you or you can or use it as a tool you. against you. Absolutely. And dude, it's so powerful. Practicing gratitude on a daily basis programs your mind that you are a grateful person. Uh, another thing that we didn't really touch on is documenting wins. Um, we're very big on documenting our wins at the end of the day, dude. If you're not doing that right now, you're doing yourself a disservice. Before you go to bed, write down five things that were wins for the day. I'll give you an example, okay? If I went to the park with my son and spent 30 minutes at the park and didn't touch my cell phone and my, my focus was on him the whole time, that's a win. If it could be as big as, hey, we brought on a couple of new guys into Unleash Your Legacy, that's a win. I get to impact more guys. We get to impact more guys. Um, if I got my workout in for the day and I really tried to talk myself out of it because I didn't feel like going, but I still did it. That's a win. You guys got to program your mind that you're winners, man, or else you're not using your subconscious mind for you. Then you start to focus on like what Zach said, the negative shit. If you guys are going to focus on the negative things, oh, I, I you know, I got a, a late fee here or man, I got to go get gas in the morning and uh, man, I got in a fight with a coworker and I got to go deal with that at the end, you know, there are so many things. Life is going to always throw you some curveballs. But if you go to bed every night, you're documenting, I'm a winner. Find five things. The worst day that you have in your life, you can still find five things to take away from that day that were a positive. One of them is that you're still on this side of the ground or this side of the earth and breathing, right? How many people die every day? Like you guys got to use this for you, man. It, it is powerful, powerful stuff. So glad you went there. Let's, uh, let's transition into a little bit about what it would look like to partner with us. So what we are moving to now is we are going to uh, start implementing just a 15 minute call from now on. If you have interest, we're going to ask you a couple questions. Then we're going to hop on zoom with you. We're going to have some face to face time and just find out if we, what we have is a good match. You guys see us every week. 
if you're not comfortable getting on Zoom with us, then you're not going to like our program because we're going to be seeing you a lot. We see you guys twice a week, every week, and that's just with the group calls. And then we have our one-on-one -on -one calls. So we will become very familiar with us or with you if you choose to work with our, if, if we accepted you into the program and you chose to, to accept our invitation. Now we're very selective about who we work with. This is not, hey, come join us. And uh, you know, this is not you coming in and putting a Band-Aid on your problem. This is a partnership. We will give you the tools to get to where you want to be. You got to hold up your end of the bargain. And if you're not that guy, then, then we're not for you, right? This is an agreement that you're going to follow through with the things that we teach you. So with all that being said, if you would like to learn a little bit more about partnering with us, say, go ahead and let's see, what's the, what's the call to action word tonight? Go ahead and type, uh, just go ahead and type, I'm ready in the comments below. And then one of us will be reaching out. We're literally just going to ask you a couple questions, dude. There is nothing for sale on this call. We are not going to sell you anything on the call. It's literally a phone call to find out if we could even have, a, if we would even be a match. If we would, then we'll give you a little bit of homework assignment, get you to, you know, get you to, to make sure that you love what we're about. And then we'll have another call. Show, we'll show you some, some of the success stories. You guys see them over here. You see the posts in the group. You guys are crushing it over there, man. And if you're ready to change your life and you want to find out more about what it would look like to partner with us, type the words, I'm ready in the comments now. And one of us will be reaching out. That's a simple process, dude. Literally 15 minute call, get on the phone and here's the, or get on Zoom, jam a little bit about what your challenges are. And then here's the thing. If we're not a good match, if we're not your guys, or if you have a, a terrible support system at home and it's not a good time, or maybe the financial aspect isn't, isn't good for you. Look, we're not a cheap service, dude. Like this is a mentorship like you're going to partner with us for six to 12 months of your life. Like this is not six <clears throat> weeks, six pack abs. Okay. This is a mm -hmm. full mentorship program where we're going to be in freaking communication with you, holding you accountable while you also hold yourself accountable and crush it. Right. You will crush. We will not let you down, but we got to have that first conversation first, figure out, Hey, is it even a match? If it's not, we're going to do everything in our power to point you in the direction of someone who can help you. We are all in the health, wellness, and fitness space. We have a lot of connections in this space, this industry. We feel we stand out. We're the best. However, we do have guys that we know that may be able to help you in a different, in, in a different way. All right. So let's have that conversation at least. Figure out, hey, if you're ready, man, let's, let's make it happen. Right. And so uh, drop the words, I'm ready in the comments below. One of us will reach out to you. You guys got anything else before we close shop tonight? Oh man, I wasted it on a, the intermission. <laughs> you wasted it on the intermission. The, the, our, the reticular activating oh, system. Gosh. I said my piece. No, that was good. <laughs> no, I'm glad that you went money. there, dude. That's uh, podcast energy right there. Yeah, it was. There no. it is. There it is. Cool. No, I would just say to guys that are watching the live stream and in the group, if they go back and rewatch this, like, share your wins and ask your questions, right? We, we, the only way we can help is if you guys engage, right? So, uh, maximum value equals maximum participation. So if you're not participating and, and uh, letting us know where you need help. And, and, and the other thing I would say is if you really want to dial it in then let's have that conversation, right? What's it going to hurt, right? <laughs> then, you know, at least if it makes sense, great. If not, no harm, no foul, right? At least now, you know, at least we know, and uh, maybe, you know, somebody else that we can help uh, uh, besides that. Right. So engage, comment, share wins, cheer each other on, like, we all want to help each other win. That's what we're trying to do. We want to be the best version of ourselves. And uh, that's what this whole community is about, right? Uh, community, camaraderie, brotherhood, all that stuff. So that's, that's just what I wanted to add. No, I, I love it. I'm glad you went there because we love seeing your wins in this group. Like if you choose to never work with us or you don't feel like you need our help, keep posting your wins over here, man. Like that's going to help you going back to the subconscious mind. This is not you gloating or bragging about your progress. This is you holding yourself accountable and telling yourself, hey, I'm making progress, dude. Like, use the group. That's what we're here for. Um, you know, there's 3,000 plus guys in this group. We do everything in our power to, to get in and at least answer questions and try to like and comment on as many posts as we can. I mean, obviously, it's our business, right? So we have a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that you guys don't see. So feel free to post questions, man. We're going to give you our feedback and try to help you guys out as much as possible. So. That's all we have for you guys tonight. We will see you back here next Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We appreciate you guys tuning in. 
Uh, those of you guys who requested the podcast link, I'll be sending that out tomorrow. And then uh, if you have any other questions, drop them in the live stream. We'll go, we'll circle back on those tomorrow as well. You guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Crush it the rest of this week. We'll see you guys next week. And Anthony, Zach, y'all have a great night. All right. Take care. See y'all later. See you boys.